It's been a restful two weeks. It's been a while since we've seen you guys. I don't I don't know even what to say. I'm I'm apologetic, but I'm really not. <laughs> Uh, we thank you guys for tuning in. This is November 19th, 2021. I can't hardly believe it. I can't. I don't even know what year I'm in. There's a new Gus- Ghostbusters out. I feel like it's 1982. Three, four, once again. With a new Reitman at helm. I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's possible that we are in November 19th at this point. Yeah. Where did the, where did the year go? I don't even know. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Welcome to our annual thankful podcast of the PT Podcast, brought to you by Crossroads Community Church in Lindale, Texas. I'm your host, PT, with my podcasting partners, the author, youth pastor extraordinaire, Joanna Grace. How are you, Joanna? I'm great. It's so good to be back. I know. After two weeks. I know. I missed you guys. Do you feel rested? Uh, no. Ish. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's because Lindale's in the playoffs and these guys are big Lindaleans. They're, yes. they, you need to do that before the podcast, new. Steve. You're not allowed to do that during the podcast. Sorry. No, never, it's against the rules. Mic. Yeah, cover mic. You're fired. No, it's okay. I don't care. You, you can you can fart if you need to. We're all going. <laughs> oh, yep, there it is. Warn me first. Uh, uh, to my left, as if you actually knew what p- seating position we're in, but Todd, the Irishman, Bergen. What's up, Todd? How are you doing, boss? I'm doing great. Did you enjoy your trip? I had a great trip. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had a lot of wine and and stamps, evidently. And stamps. <laughs> yeah, tripping. Yeah. Oh yeah. Saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, you I, guys got to get up early in the morning if you're gonna, you know, stick compete. with these jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that's because it's all sorts of stupid. Drink some coffee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've had at least two cups. <laughs> Just two. Mm-hmm. I need more. Yeah. Need more. Mine ran out. Well, there's a pot out there. No. I can't leave now. No, no you you're can't. Stuck. No, you can't. But you can always, um, always belch it back up, cough it up, and then, you know. No. Ugh. All right. Yeah, just saying. That's gross. Hey, I, be thankful for your bodily functions, bro. I am thankful. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. I'm and grateful. you're feeling pretty good, man. You had a good trip, Todd? I did. I, did. I had a great trip. Good. Are you rested? Relaxing. Oh, yeah. Are you? Yeah. The place we stayed at, it was so awesome. I mean, it just, it was so serene. 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 I'm yeah, not even going like to ask where deer running around in the front yard while I'm drinking coffee. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. All right, and to my right, you guys know him. You love him. And and let me tell you something. I'm I'm really glad for this right here. This this is my favorite button in the world. Steve, <laughs> <laughs> is that who's on the right? I I I'm walking to my home and I hear in in my my son's room as he's playing the Xbox. Steve? I'm like, no, it's not. It's not Steve. Goes, Steve? Shut up, Gabe. Oh, my Steve? goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I've the got bald button. beauty, Steve Howard. How are you doing, Steve? I'm doing fabulous. Do you feel rested? Yes, I feel rested. You do? Yeah. After partying hard last night? At oh, it was some, fun. Yeah, some concert. The, you drank a lot. I yeah, man, not. you were a lush, what? bro. I drank a lot of water. What? That's what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, water. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, all that. Right. That's why you're coughing so much, because yeah. all that water is coming back yeah. up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I got good news. Yeah. You know, we're doing that nativity scene and uh, mobile Santa this year. That is exciting. December 9th through the 12th here at, at the at Crossroads Community Church. It'll be on site this year from the 9th through the 12th. And we had been stressing, I say stressing, we were concerned about being able to pay for everything because we we're having to construct the nativity scene. We're having to do all that stuff. Um, and Todd, the Irishman Bergen is the Haas Papa when it comes to construction on this stuff. Yay! Um, he has yeah. he has constructed the, the rock structure. Did you see it this morning? I have seen it, yes. I went over and knocked on it. Did, did you? Because <laughs> I sprayed that, it with concrete yesterday. I, surface I, is, nice. I need another coat, though. It, wow. it, looks, it looks pretty good, though, man. I'm saying. Yeah. I'm, I'm well, impressed. Wait till I get the front. Wait till I, get the front I can't wait to see it. But Awesome. We That's had to construct cool. all that from scratch, so Todd Todd has been doing that and been working wow. nonstop. The Ag Pastor of Crossroads Community Church, ooh. And, yeah, ooh, ooh. but so the Ag Master. We were we were concerned about raising enough money to be able to build all this stuff because we're going to have you know twenty six foot crosses and mm-hmm. all that good stuff. But because of our sponsors and the community that we live in, we have raised over ten thousand dollars. For the live nativity and mobile Santa, I think wow. that is. I, I can't. I, I don't know That's why I didn't amazing. have it. Where is my applause button? No, there it is, right here. Hey. Hey. We, we, we were over here. We were over here. Me and Joanna, we were over here. I, I know. We're really button. trying. We were here. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty happy about it, man. I, I'm just. I think it's worth it again. Yeah, that's ours is better. Ours is better. Ours is better. 
Yeah, see, that one fades out too soon. That's too we much. We can like keep it going. Class. We can keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's enough. All right. So, anyways, uh, I'm going to name off a couple of the sponsors. Listen, here's the deal. Mobile Santa is not innately religious. I mean, I understand when we go out, we we go out with hearts that love the Lord and are trying to minister to our community. And when they when when kids go out, we'll, we'll be talking about that in a couple of weeks with Mrs. Claus and Santa. Uh, they'll be coming on and we'll be talking about stories of Mobile Santa and things like so that. Exciting. Just kind of uh, in a couple of weeks on the podcast. But, um, you know, these guys have options to sponsor and not sponsor. And when you start talking about a live nativity scene, um, people kind of freak out. They're like, um, you know, th- that's not what we're used to doing. We're used to sponsoring the mobile Santa and we, we're not sure that our corporate, you know, place will allow us to sponsor. So we had a couple people that were like, we can't do it because we've got the nativity scene. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, um, in fact, when we first told one of these sponsors, they were unsure if they were going to be able to do it this year because of that. And, um, the first one, and I'm going to, I'm going to name this cracker barrel. Um, one, one of the, I love, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but for almost every day I'm going into that place. They're like family. My son wow. works there. Yeah. They're just great people. Sweet. But, but they, every year, I think for the last three, four years, mm-hmm. Cracker Barrel has been one of the top sponsors of Mobile Santa. This year's wow. no platinum sponsor. They, they've, they've bucked up the money to be able to, to help and support us. And mm-hmm. one of our top sponsors also every year, ever since 2009, there is Voiles Land Services, and I don't know who they're connected to. I hear to. they're great people. Oh, uh, they do I, awesome work. I heard they're really cool. <laughs> yeah, I heard they're really cool too. Yeah. I don't know if they're connected to anybody or if yeah. we're showing any partiality here. Yeah. But I, I, think, I think they are. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I think I, I can't remember their names. That's uh, that's yeah, Joanna okay. and Donnie's company. Joanna's <laughs> yes. here with us, and they they are they have been a part of Mobile Santa ever since its inception. In fact, the first year that we did Mobile Santa, um, awesome. Joanna was in the play yep. that we did. And wow. uh, yep. yeah, I, I am thinking about revisiting that. By the way, I'm oh, just God. saying that was a fun. <laughs> Is she gonna be an angel? Play? No, <laughs> no, no. She I was, was a, a nerdy she, elf. I was a nerdy elf nerdy with elf. a laugh that would make you like it akin Go to ahead. like oh, give chalk us, on the walls. Oh yeah, me, no, no. Do it. Mm-mm. I want to hear the laugh. <laughs> no. Gosh. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was bad. I'll have to that was, practice that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was bad. No, that wasn't it, Steve. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Hey, no. I, had, I haven't heard I it. had pigtails Steve? and suspenders. Yeah, she did. Oh, wow. and suspenders. Oh, yeah. She went Come out on. that way, too, on Mobile Santa. Mm-hmm. Wow. We, we had the characters of the play go yep. out. That's where Rudolph That's got cool. came out and all that yep. stuff. Anyway, so that was, mm-hmm. what, back in 2009? Oh, my That's gosh, cool. yeah. yeah. That was the first year that we were at Crossroads. So, yeah. Yep, 2009. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, we'll talk about that later on. But then we got, cool. we got Tim Schlesner, uh, real estate agent with uh, Leslie cool. Kane Realty. Woo. But he, he cool. has a, a platinum sponsor, man. Uh, and, and like I said, these people could say, I don't want anything to do with it. But these guys, uh, another one, that window guy from Lindale, they don't they don't care about whether or not we have nativity or mobile sound. Either way, they just want to make sure that the community and that's the yep. heart of those guys, yeah. anyways. Mm-hmm. The great people, and then of course, you know, I'm I'm not tooting my own horn here, but I have the best church in the whole of East Texas, Crossroads Amen. Community Church. Yeah, that's pretty good church. Woo! Yeah, I'm just saying these agree. these people are some of the best. In fact, they were all in force last night at a particular re- restaurant. <laughs> that is not a platinum sponsor. I'll, I'm just going to say that I mean, they're, they're not. They're we not. need to talk to Bill. Well, I, we we might, but he, you know, they, they, those guys do so much for the community, anyways. They do. Yeah. Um, they so, do. but what I'm saying is, the Crossroads showed up in force last, and there was a couple people that were like, I want, I want family. I'm just saying, we've got some great, great people at Crossroads Community Church, but yes, these guys are platinum great. sponsors as well. And so, I just want to make sure you guys know, if you want to go and support community or, 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 or businesses that support the community that are about not only the community and, and, and doing healthy things for the community, but also they, they are okay with sponsoring the gospel, sponsoring things that have the name of Jesus attached to it. Well, then you've got, you've got some names right here with Cracker Barrel, Voice Land Services, Tim Schlesner, that window guy. They are, they are all about propagating and making sure that the name of Jesus gets lifted up. So that's awesome. You guys go and support them. If you need new windows, if you need some land service, if you need a real estate agent, these guys, I'm just telling Cracker Barrel. You're hungry. Yeah. If you're hungry and you want to <laughs> every Sunday morning, almost except for this Sunday, this Sunday, I'm stocking up. I'm not eating. What? Until oh yeah, because we've got oh, the, yeah, feast. We got mm. the feast here. The feast, the beast feast. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And we got while we have some great people in our church, they are also great cooks. Mm-hmm. Oh, Your we, husband, 
When is the feast again? Your, Sunday. Your husband is Sunday. I know where I'm going to be on Sunday. You're going to skip church? No. He's, I have to be at my church. He's going to He's gonna go and, just, and spend his regulated 15 minutes there, and then he'll come over here. Yes. To where the, well, I have to be there a little more than 15 minutes. Yeah, I know. I know. you gotta, you got to at least do 20 minutes of worship. Yes. Yeah, I understand. But Steve is a part of the no, church I have as to be well. There for the service too. Um, mm-hmm. He's at he's at Church on the Rock equipment, and they're yes. great, great, great mm-hmm. people as well. Yes, so they're great people. All right, so we're gonna go on, and uh, I just wanted to make sure and give you guys the 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 down low on who to patronize in the, the Lindale community: Cracker Barrel, Voiles Land Services, Tim yes. Schlesner, and that window guy, and Crossroads. You know, we want you guys to go to your church wherever that's at. We want you guys to get involved with your community. Go and do healthy things for your community. But we, we're proud of being a part of Crossroads and all mm. that they're trying to accomplish for the community as well. And uh, we want you guys to be as proud of your church as well. So anyways, uh, we're all part of the same church. I pastor the same church that your pastor pastors. And yep. uh, we, we don't need to be competing. We need to go out there and reach the loss. So um, that's part of this thing. Anyways, we're going to do a that's game. Right. We're going to do a game today. Game. Yes, yeah. Steve's a little nervous because team? he's he's a, you know I'm very nervous. I'm with Steve. Steve. Yes, yeah. I'm very nervous. Well, you're nervous too. Wow. Why? Why be nervous? We just heard a little bit of that and we're like, oh, well, what the corn? <laughs> you guys are wusses. Man. Me and yes. Todd are all about it. Let's get it. Let's me, and, get it. me and Todd are all about it. All right, so I shall be. I'm going to pick one at random. And yeah, right. I am. <laughs> random. He's even shuffling the deck. He is. I'll even I'll even shuffle good. Oh, look at him! Look at him! Oh, maybe it's not as random. Oh, 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 here we go! It just went random. Random, totally. I told you. Mm -hmm. I told you. I'm serious about this, dude. All right, so yes. Who wants to go first? I will. All right, Steve's first. Cut the deck. You can if you'd like. like, If you don't trust me, band aid. Get it done. Let's get it done. Go ahead. All right. Let's. Hopefully, there's not too much. All right, this is Vegas random now. Vegas random. All right, so Steve. You, you wanted to go first. To go first. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Steve told me before we played this. I love my mama very much. I love her very much. Now you know that. <laughs> you know that. He also told me. Mama said. Mama said. My mama said. <laughs> mama said. <laughs> mama said. Mama, mama. <laughs> mama All right, here we go. You ready? Yes. Yep, here we go. All right, here's your question, Steve. Oh no. What is your favorite microwavable food? Oh, my that's... favorite microwavable food. Um. See here. Here's the question: Is it really microwavable? I know. I got to make sure it's mark. No, no, no. If you stick it in the microwave, it's microwavable. Okay, get on it. What's you your favorite it? microwavable well, food? You stick it in the microwave. My favorite microwavable it. food. You have ten have seconds. To be burritos. 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 burritos for the win. Are they we, the bean or are they the be- beef the bean and cheese? And cheese. I, I'm going to tell you. Chimichanga. I, I already those knew are. that. Burrito chimichangas. You knew that? Yeah, we all knew that. That's because you. Yeah. Were, yeah. <laughs> I still prefer to to put them in the oven because they taste better. Yeah, that's what is that smell? Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. not me. Burritos, it's burritos, dude. So you like burritos in the microwave? Yeah, those those frozen yeah, burritos. Man. That's just, good, good stuff. He's from Washington. Uh, are you kidding me? He's Don't from Washington. Those hot bacon pockets in the are oven? good too. Oh, no, I, not I in the know. oven. I haven't eaten that stuff in a while, but I don't like to put anything in there. You haven't what? Uh, baked potatoes. I do baked potatoes. That's probably what I need to put in there. Baked mm. potatoes. I like doing my baked, baked potatoes, potatoes in the and popcorn. I eat popcorn all the time. Hey, dude, in the microwave. one, one. What is your favorite <laughs> microwavable food? We you don't need to go sure all day long. All my bases. absolute favorite microwavable food, probably popcorn. burritos. Pop- popcorn? popcorn. Okay, is that your final answer? That's my final answer. Thank God, sure. it only took us an hour to get there. All right, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I went first. I knew it was going to be the Steve? longest. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us the definition? After after the top twenty, he went ahead until I just played <laughs> okay, Steve. Steve. All right, here we go. Uh Joanna or hey. Todd, which one do you want to go first? Yeah. I'll go next. All right, ladies, Ooh. ladies first. Go, go, go. Right, ladies. Yours Oh wow. <laughs> Oh, Joanna. Oh, oh Lord have mercy. Face. That's great. Skip, oh my goodness. Skip, Look, I had a better one. <laughs> have no, you no. ever had anything waxed? Oh, <laughs> if so, what? Uh, oh my, eyebrows, eyebrows, Are you eyebrows. Sure? That's, that's eyebrows. Pretty, pretty tame. I've eyebrows, never had eyebrows. Wax, so. I figured that right there tests my religion enough. Because when they like rip that off right there, Ouch. I don't even want to know. I'm I, like, I had my le- I had my knees. Yeah, I had my legs because we we lost a. Uh, uh, I, I made a bet with the youth. Um, that it, they couldn't <laughs> get uh, so many people at youth service mm-hmm. and they beat it like Perfusely. exponentially. Yeah. yeah. Like we had 200 people. Oops. And so I, I was like, 
Okay, so they they chose instead of me shaving my head, they they chose that they wanted to wax my legs. Oh my oh goodness! Oh no! And then the next Sunday, I had to wear a dress in service. <laughs> With high heels that light up. I so where'd you get okay. the high heels at? Hey, will you Walmart still do had that? them where you do, do you the pressure thing? Will you still do that for our youth group? Because I, I'm in. Yeah. Like I bet ooh. you are. I know That's what I, I know what I'm gonna pressure. ask for them to do is you know, shave your head. So anyways oh. anyways, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, what's good for the goose? Yeah. Yeah. Nice hair. Yeah. Take it I'll shave you. I'll yeah. shave my head for So anyways, they, they get to the knee part and they 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 nominated one youth to do the waxing and she was evil oh my <laughs> so she was like pulling it up slow you know instead <gasps> no, of oh, oh it was me. bad they were they were enjoying every second of it she gets to that oh. and she finally was merciful and started but she yanked in it on my knee like yanked a chunk <gasps> of skin out of my out of my knee right here yeah, oh. yeah I, I'll, I'll never i was like okay we're done you know i don't know if you've seen that but you're done you're, you're done, done. Yeah, yeah yeah you're done mm. so that's kind of yeah i don't even want to know sadistic mm -mm. it is man mm. children youth are mean i know they oh, are yeah. they, it's for they, the, they the lord you see. did it for the lord tim i'm sharing in the sufferings <laughs> yeah. of christ yeah. Yeah. yeah anyways okay todd you it's your, your turn <laughs> you ready yeah I took the cross. <laughs> yeah well good now it's all y'all's turn all right so. <laughs> <laughs> i drove to colorado Oh yeah, you did. Uh huh. I drove to Cedar Point. I man, I've, I, yeah. And we're not even gonna talk about those experiences. All right, you ready? Sure. This is Todd's. Here we go. You ready? Yep. When oh, you were a kid, easy. did you have any posters on your wall? If so, what? Mm. I did. I had a lot of posters on my wall. I was that kid that, if I could get a poster, I'd put it on the wall. So what did you have on your wall? Well, the list is long. Okay, well, what were your favorite posters then? <laughs> Cheryl Teague? No, uh, actually, it was Kiss. Kiss? Oh, Kiss, yeah. Okay, I had okay. all, I Todd had a little thing this. for Gene Simmons. Uh, yes, you yeah. did. Ace Freely. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. They were yeah. all plastered up there, man. You wanted to rock and roll all night? All, all night mm -hmm. long. And party every day. Yeah. You yeah. know what? Mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to wear those big old boots with the high heels that are six inches off the ground. <laughs> They were like platforms. <laughs> is that, was was that all you had? I was short. Is that all you had on your wall? No. No, I tried oh, to sneak oh. up a couple of Come women on, up there. Yeah, well, who'd you have? Well, I had Farrah Fawcett up uh, there. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I remember yeah. that picture. Yes. And my mom said, why do you have that? It's Farrah Fawcett, And I mom. said, mom, it's, 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 it's Farrah Fawcett. just a picture. It's not that big of a deal. And she says, well, she's half naked. It's just well, it's a human just a body, picture. mom. It's yeah, not it's that big a of a deal. Well, I mean, she's also half clothed, <laughs> yeah. so, you know. It's how you see it. All the important parts are covered, Bob. <laughs> yeah. All the other posters were. We're going to talk about we're going to talk yeah. about that next next season uh, in in 2022. We're actually going to talk about porn and the woman's perspective, which putting you on the spot. Wow. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. it is. Um, but one of the one of the things we're going to talk about is how men view that stuff versus how women view that. And one of the things you're talking about is how I remember when my mom found muscle magazines with bikini clad women and she was, she's a little freaked out about that, man. She's like, you like this sort of thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, her pecs are bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, he's spewing <laughs> well there goes the carpet folks all right, all right you're into those bodybuilding mm. chicks I, man i was, was into working out with josh uh, a long time ago mm. uh, back when i was stud muffin supreme and mm. uh, boy that's long long time ago uh, and we would buy those magazines and actually we would actually read those those articles but some That's of them what they were, all say. well yeah, and so yeah I can't argue that I'm not saying that it wasn't a, a plus but I'm, I'm I'm confessing on air that that happened and uh, I and I was obviously obviously trying to get away with something because they were hidden away underneath my mattress uh-huh yeah so mm -hmm. my it, what's funny is dad took me out to the garage and he said, that's exactly what he he laid him down and he looked at me and he had this look like. So, son, so here's my magazine. No, I'm just no, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These so, are better. These, these aren't gonna. These aren't gonna work. You, you realize that Dad's gonna listen to this. He's gonna put a hit out on you. Yeah. yeah. No, but Dad laid him out. Don't and he, tell your mom. We're, we're sitting there at his at his workbench. That's. that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're digressing at this point. I wish we had a camera that was on your dad's face when he hears this one. <laughs> oh, he's 
I just okay. hope he doesn't fire it up in Iowa with all of his people there right now. Oh, that's oh that'd be funny. <laughs> he's going to be sitting there looking like, oh, God, he's talking Hi, about. Dad. Anyways, yeah. he takes me into the garage and he puts me at the workbench and we've got these magazines laid out. And he, he looks at me and he goes, so you're, you're into this thing, this, this. And he points at the lady on there. And, and I'm, of course, devastatedly, you know, I can't believe that I'm talking to my dad about this. I'm what I'm 14, maybe 15 years old. And uh, he's, <laughs> and he goes, you, you think these are, you think these are pretty? <laughs> No, he's they're really beautiful. trying to grasp and no understand button, yeah. here. No, you got it. No, no you got the exact <laughs> first I one. The I can't believe it. Steve? Wow. Steve's, Steve likes pushing my buttons. All right. He does. My turn. Oh, here my. We go. Well, this is easy. Oh well, then God. put it back. De describe your sense of humor in one word. Stupid. There no. you go. Oh, come on now. You're not giving yourself That's enough. That's not right. Yes. I think it is. I love your sense of humor. Stupid humor. That, it, that no, gets you every time. Fart humor, potty silly, humor. Silly, maybe. Not stupid silly. humor. Yeah, I would stupid. go with silly. Silly's, Silly's good. good. No, I've yeah. got, I got a better word. Steve? There it is. There it is. There it is. All right. All right, so we're going to get have my own word. <laughs> you do. I'm special. <laughs> you are. Today, Steve reminds me of the Steve Carell where he's like, loud noises. You know, the, you know, just, yep. all right. <laughs> we're off the rockers today. <laughs> Scripture foundation segue. Here we go. Ephesians chapter five, verse 15. Ooh, let's get spiritual. Look carefully. <laughs> the church on the Rockies, your worship leader. <laughs> I didn't hire him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where was this Steve when we were roommates? That's what I want to know. I don't know. I know where he, he was. was. Morning, no, man. no, he was in the back seat of a car with some girl. I don't no, know. No, I was not. He was yes. too. <laughs> he was too. He was too. No, I remember. One, it was too. Remember finding him in the park, and I was like, Steve. What? <laughs> That's not even true. <laughs> All right, Ephesians chapter five. Look carefully, Steve. Then how you walk, not as unwise, but as not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time because the days are evil. And I think we can all attest to that. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And don't get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart, giving thanks always, and for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. And I think that that sums up a an attitude of this season. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm guilty I, I love the Christmas season. I absolutely do. I'm, I'm always headlong running into it because I, I just love it. I'm, I'm usually generally pretty tired of it by the time it gets around. But mm. uh, I'm, I usually rush through Thanksgiving. But this year, I've kind of made it a point. I, I didn't want to rush through it. I'm still celebrating. I'm still listening to Christmas songs. I'm yes. still. But I, I don't want to rush through the thanks part. And the older mm. I get, the more I, I'm looking around going, man. Yeah. I, how blessed Yes. Mm -hmm. How blessed am I? So today we're going to kind of take a little moment, all of us, and we're going to. It's almost like a game, but it's not a game. We're 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 going to do the thanks game, and we we are. I've instructed these these hooligans <laughs> to <laughs> to write out their top ten list, and it's in no particular order. This is not. We're not trying to impress anybody or trying to to you know get get some sugar from our woman. Although I yeah, think Steve is, are. I think Steve is, yeah. Mm -hmm. and he, Steve. Anyway, so <laughs> see, you're cheating. You're you're cheating. You're using this as a as a as a tactic to get to no, get some no, sugar I'm from your wife. It, I'm not going to do anything. To not. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go around and we're going to name if. If one of us names something that's on our list, we're uh -huh. going to cross off that thing. That way, the commonality factor is gone, and we can get some particular things out of the way. All right? Um, maybe it will expedite the podcast. Maybe it won't. Maybe we've got enough yeah. unique things that um, we'll, we'll be able to talk about. And then at the end of it, if, if that you know cancels out everything, <laughs> then we can go back and we can say, yes. okay, what are the most important ones that we want to talk about? And we'll do that. All right? Okay. But I'll go first. My number one, I'm sure everybody else's is, is Jesus. 
Yeah, relationship yep. with God. Relationship with the Lord. Check. <clears throat> Salvation. All right. So I gotta check that Everybody, out. and if you're and if you're at home, I'm, I'm hoping that you have that same thankfulness in your heart. Yes. The, the fact that you're able mm-hmm. to live and breathe and have a walking, talking relationship with the Lord by choice yes. is is huge, and uh, we are all a product of that. Yes. Um, um, even Steve. Steve. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, Steve, you're up. Oh, it's my turn. Yep. Number yes, two. Sir. Number two. Oh, okay. Did you I cross think... off the, yes, the Jesus? I did. All right, here we go. Well, I am thankful, of course, for my wife. Yeah, and, no, my number yeah, yeah. I figured that'd be everybody else's second one too. Yeah, I don't have that. and everything that goes along with. You don't have <laughs> <husband> <laughs> my wife. Oh, she's she gonna have husband. husband. She's gonna have husband. We don't have husbands. Yes, uh, and uh, <laughs> she doesn't have a wife. I don't have a wife. <laughs> oh, that's good. You could say husband. <laughs> that's what I don't said. want one of those. You could have said spouse. That probably would have oh, kept her. Yeah. Have, yeah, yeah. My wife. I mean, I'm very thankful for my wife. She is amazing. All she right, she's amazing. Joanna, you're up. So I did a uh, family in general. Uh, that's mine too. Uh, so I'm I'm including blood family, church family, chosen family, children. Everything. Yeah, they're in there. They're 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 in the yeah, but you can't you, you can't party. do the general family. That's not fair. The, no, my, the family, family, the blood family, blood is that family. that's the okay. blood family. Okay, yeah. blood yeah. family. So, so all family. You have I've got family. separate things that would, you too. would include in that, but that, that you can't do that. You so can't. do I have no. to mark off children? No, no. Yeah, no. yeah, you do. No, you don't. You don't no, you kid, argue no I would say the extended family. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Like her mom and dad and stuff like that. I thought I had to knock to cross off my kids. No, no, she said family. That, that yeah, I mean, you my can kids be, are my family. Okay, yeah, but I would say that I, I would say kids can be a, a specific answer. Okay. We're that, gonna that's, be no, I'm just throwing them in. I understand you I'm are not calling them, but out. I'm not crossing <laughs> that. Out. I, I I labeled family, but I've got kids separate. Yeah, I've got, oh, okay. and I've also got church family separate because those are separate issues for me. Those are separate oh. thankful things for me. Oh. Yeah. Issues. I'm a, <laughs> no, I, 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 love, separate I, issues. I lumped everybody in there together. To, Y'all are right up there with my kids. To each love their it. own. Oh, wow. Yeah. To each their I own. I feel so honored. You should. Thanks, son. I love you, Todd. Love you, too. I love you. All right. We're a happy family. We are. We're a dysfunctional well, family, but we are happy. Yes. <laughs> y'all, y'all so, shut your mouths when you're talking so, to me. All right. I get, to, <laughs> I, get to, I get to keep children, right? Yeah, you can keep yes, children you until you say... Till, until I say I'm thankful for the blessing of children. Yeah, and then I'm I've got to cross my kids off. Yeah. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna get some bonus points with my kids. Maybe they'd go to a movie with me and talk to me, but now they won't. No, no they won't. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talk about dysfunction. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like All right. Uh, all my, my turn. Kids. Uh my next one on the list is is my church family. My my okay. crossroads yep, family. I got that. Yeah. Uh I just it, every every year that goes by, it just is that much sweeter. There, my, my this this place is remarkably cool. Yes, some yes. of the greatest people in the world. They are just. I'm I am honored to be a part of it. So, all right, your turn, bud. All right, um, for all of God's provisions, uh, all His, um, you know, that my wife's being able to do what she loves to do. I'm. I've been able to do what I love to do. God's provision. God's provision. It mm-hmm. just and He's providing, mm-hmm. able give us what we really enjoy doing, and then and providing for our family. And see, well. I didn't have that. I'm. I, that's a great one to be thankful for. Oh, very thankful for that. Yep. And, and at this point, there are things in your life that's coming up that you're doing that God's kind of supplying a way for. Yes, and, mm-hmm. and He's Mr. opened up in a door for me to uh, have my own insurance agency. Awesome. So hopefully Ooh. next month. I'm going to be one of his wow. first customers. Yes. Really? Yeah, I'm yes. getting as far away from progressive as I possibly can. <laughs> After this fiasco. I was going to put you with progressive. <laughs> You're oh, that'd Steve? be cruel. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Steve, I will end you. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a great discount price. <laughs> yeah, they might, but there's a reason for that. <laughs> Flo is not, she, she, they, yeah, I'm not. They lose your vehicle, right? Progressive. Is that what you said? Oh, my gosh. Well, we could talk about this. I don't know if I could talk about this on air. Yeah, I can because it actually happened, and it's not defamation. It's true, Truth. true story. We yeah. got yeah, getting a wreck on my birthday this year, total my car hit a deer, and an hour and a half it takes them to get a tow truck out there. First of all, they did they weren't sure they were going to get a tow truck out there. Now, to their defense, I didn't have tow truck coverage, but I'm I'm hurting. Had an airbag hit the back of my neck. I'm my blood pressure's up to good night. Who knows what? So they're rushing me to the emergency room to make sure mm-hmm. that I'm okay. 
And we're sitting there waiting on a tow truck to get there and they can't figure out how they're going to get a tow truck out there simply because I didn't have the coverage on there, which I think is stupid. Just send a tow truck. I'll pay for it if I have to. Mm -hmm. But they didn't. And it took them an hour and a half. So I had to leave my key fob on the floorboard and, Mm -hmm. and told them, you know, when you get there, so anybody could have stopped and it was drivable. I mean, they could have driven it off, but um, so less than the thieves, if you see a car on the side, throw a check under the floor. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Let me show you how to do this. So, okay. So we're on our way and we finally hear from progressive that, okay, we, we got a toad and everything like that. So the next morning we get back from, I get back to the, to the house around midnight, that kind of thing. Next morning around eight o'clock, nine o'clock, I get a call from the agent and she goes, um, is your car still at the same spot? And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, well, we don't have a record that it's been towed. And I'm like, well, we got a call that it's been towed. She goes, well, do you know where your car was towed to? <laughs> they didn't know where my wow. car was. Wow. So like, what in the world? My car's been sitting there for, now we're supposed to be talking about things that we're thankful for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm thankful, thankful that, that, you got I'm thankful that I've got a best friend that who is going to go. be in the insurance company. He's going <laughs> yeah. to get me a great rate on yeah. my insurance. It's Steve Howard by, Insurance it, yeah. Company. Well, it's going to be called Gold Shield Insurance Agency. Gold Shield? Mm-hmm. Shield? S-H-I-L-D? Shield. 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 Gold Shield. Shield. I want it to be called Steve Insurance. Steve insurance. That's marketable. Yeah, Make that's sure marketable. That's in your that's, yeah, that's Steve marketable. Insurance. Yeah, Steve Insurance. Yeah. yeah, I think I can actually make a commercial for you, mm-hmm. Steve. Ah! Steve. I'll, I'll make sure you go have like that. <laughs> that toe coverage on there. It's only about eight, eight bucks a car. I know. I, anyways, <laughs> so is it eight bucks a month or a year? A year, uh, six months, probably, probably six, six months. months yeah, okay. it's not even that big of a deal. But she, yeah. Anyways, yeah. all right. So that was cool. my story for progress. So I'm getting with Steve, and I'm thankful right. for that. And he's thankful for provision that he's going to be starting yes, his new company. I'm very thankful. And his God, his probably. wife Lorraine is a phenomenal photographer. Yes, mm-hmm. she's a fantastic photographer. Photographer, and she's doing very well. Is she? Yes, but she needs more people. Uh, she, she does more seniors, people. little babies. She does. Um, she does Steve boudoir pictures. She don't let me do those. Oh, wow. Then you're lying. She does not let That's me. That's why she has a tripod. I've tried several times to volunteer, and she says... <laughs> what? I volunteer as tribute. Which one's no? No, you don't want to do that one. Mom, mama said... Mama, mama said... Mama, mama said... Mama said... Mama, 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 mama said... Hey, dude. Get, you keep your hands off my button, dude. You need, to, you, need to, you need to get with Lorraine for that, all right? Oh, my God. No means... No! All there right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it was no. How, would you change it to something else? Dude, I... Listen. You have the power. I, I'm... <laughs> what you know, this, you know what this podcast is called? The... PT, PT Podcast. Oh, okay, so yes. you keep your hands off my color buttons. All right. <laughs> you, could, you have Lorraine for that. All right. So. <laughs> All, right. All right. So here we go. So what was, okay. your, what was yours next one? Um, well... I also had provision, and I don't know if this falls under provision, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I'm very thankful for the physical comforts of my home and my car and clothing and a good good pair of shoes. No, I didn't have that one. See, I told you. Good pair of shoes. I got some chucks on. Yeah, I got some some Converse on this morning. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Women will understand that because there's nothing worse about being in a situation where you have on terrible shoes. No, men would understand that too. You you can't concentrate on anything else but how bad your feet hurt. And so when I get a good pair of shoes, I'm like, thank you. That is a good thing to be thankful for. For this. Ever yeah. since so, I've got yeah, these you boots. Yeah, because you imagine wearing Jesus sandals all the time. I just can't go I anywhere. I, mean, I love I to wear my boots. I know. It would be horrible. Yeah. Steve loves to wear his boots. He wants everybody to I have like a thousand shoes at home, and I just wear uh-huh. my boots all the time. I'm uh-huh. just going to get rid of all of them. They really are just taking up space in my closet. Do you remember my Doc Martens, the black and white ones? Yes, I do. I love those. I still have them. No what? way. Yes. Yes. I had some brown ones like that, but they weren't as cool. I remember. I remember. They, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had Steve, three dogs chew on them. So every warm. time. Mm-hmm. Can I borrow your shoes, bro? Can I borrow your shoes, bro? I'm like, no, man. You can't borrow them. I'm going to wear them. No. They have soles this thick. You can't hurt them. No, you can't. It, they, they are literally nuclear yeah. prepared. 
Dog Martin's man. The, the, yeah. the, you still have those. I do still have them, man. I still every now and I again when I'm feeling the audience can see Steve's <laughs> face right now. When I'm when I'm feeling <laughs> fancy, Sister, can, can I borrow? But, but <laughs> did you hear what he just said? Can I borrow <laughs> your shoes, bro? Yes. No, you got boots to wear. <laughs> oh my god! You got some fat boots. baby boots like that. <laughs> that were so. Fat baby. fat baby boots. I can mm-hmm. I, I can understand what you're talking about yeah. because a comfortable pair of shoes you'll keep forever. Yes. Yeah. Till they fall apart. But Those don't fall apart. And the, then you glue them back together and uh-huh. keep on trying. Yep, that's right. Here's the other thing though. <laughs> the the same the same fun- function that you have to keep the shoes that are comfortable. You never you'll keep them. I, I'm just a, I don't know if it's because it's a hoarding thing with me or so. I'll keep every pair of shoes. I still have shoes from, but the ones that aren't comfortable, they're they're like underneath of the like mm-hmm. three layers of dust on them mm-hmm. from not <laughs> right. wearing them. Yeah. So, yep. Thank God for shoes and comforts and this. You know, yeah. the, the I've been to your house. Yep. You have a very comfy house. I do. I have a very lived in house. I love it. That's great. It's very lived in. That's I love awesome. I love Joanna's house. It's we awesome. um. I have to tell y'all a sweet story. It kind Especially of when everybody's heart. asleep. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> we, had, we had one of my one of my daughter's friends come in, and um, I told him it's it's her boyfriend. He's a good kid. I like him. Don't tell him no. Mm-hmm. Um, but I uh. I just told him I'm like Gavin. Look, um, the house is a mess right now, and I just really don't care. So welcome to our mess. And he was like, "Don't apologize. Your house has life in it." Oh, that's great! And I was wow. like, "Oh man." I like that. Yeah. Oh, Our house has come, life in it. Come yes. on, Joanna. You got to see through that crap. That, yeah, that's that's yeah, he's, yeah. He did. Good. I know what he's doing. He's feeding you a lot. Yeah, he's, I, you know, he's I hate smart. to say it. He's, yeah. he's a good kid. He's, he's a good tall kid. Well, he's definitely smart. Yeah, the tall kid with the black curly hair. He's yeah, definitely too. smart. Yeah, I'll he give is. him that. He's, he's, he's yeah. a smart kid. Watch and those smooth talkers, he's right, Tim? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah, he's watching yeah. those chicks. Tim used to be one of those. He doesn't. He doesn't talk much, but when he does. It, it's it's Used to. there's it a brain funny. behind it <laughs> really yes so he's like the quiet thoughtful type okay oh, well you can't be so thankful for two things no no and i already didn't say get, i was get, thankful get, for him no, he's okay. dating my okay. daughter yeah, I yeah, yeah. no <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes i i cannot verify or or or, or okay. confirm or deny that uh we have <laughs> we have pr- plans for you gavin <laughs> <laughs> Todd, I'm pretty yeah. sure Kim's already like threatened him with a knife and everything. Yeah. He's yeah. still here, so. No, wow. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Time will tell. Time will tell. Yeah. I feel the same way about others that are dating my kids. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 We won't. They'll go nameless at this point. You. I'm sure they're listening and they know exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. Right. Love you. Yes. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> oh my! All right, so, Todd. What's so up? Are others. So, <laughs> no, but so are others. <laughs> Whole of crossroads, and we are. You already know we're packing, so it's yeah. okay. Oh no! <laughs> Swiss cheese. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Go well, ahead, Todd. Well, since we're on provisions, well, we got, got to cancel that out. Well, yeah. I'm yeah. kind of. I'm. Quite, yeah, but you got to go it, with the shoes. It, it, yeah, but that's comfort. She was. Comforts. She got this comfort. See, it's a different. I have, I have written down physical comforts. Is yours and, different provision? And provision for those comforts was next. Well, see, like I have, I am thankful for toilet paper. Oh, toilet paper. Yeah, yes. dude. There is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. Without that, your fingers would be. <laughs> Would be used. Don't finish that. Would be dirty. <laughs> would be like some of the other countries. <laughs> no, but I'm just glad we're not. We'd have you know, to shake with hands fig, with fig leaves and stuff. I'm, like I'm, that, I'm, de- I'm definitely down with that. Or a poison ivy leaves. Ooh, Amen. Ooh yeah. Yeah, Amen. yeah, yeah. They're oh, soft. No, that's, a, that's a good one. That's okay, they're so soft that, and they're soothing. But yes, okay. that stays right. for sure. Yep. Mm, yep. Yeah. 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 I'm yep. TP is a good one. I don't have toilet paper on. Nobody else has that. I don't either, man. No, that was good. I don't have. I don't have any of those things. Nice. Thank. I am, I am. For two ply toilet paper. I am incredibly, <laughs> yeah, well, yes, quilted. Mm. Nothing quilted, says yes. love. Charmin. Like Charmin Extra Soft. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes, yeah. amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And nothing says hell like Scott. Paper. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about Scott. Scott's toilet paper, <laughs> yeah. Toilet paper. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes that's the, when they say paper on the product, it's that, like, that's man, for that's real, paper. dude. The ones in I'm sorry, my my I love my church, but they've got bad toilet paper. <laughs> well, yeah, you can, I say, you when you buy in bulk, you it's it's yeah. hard. When you it's hear hard. this, when, when you, you hear this bulk. coming out of the men, women's restroom, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a little sensitive, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sandpaper. So my next on here is is I man, I have been so 
incredibly blessed with friends. Yeah, that's all. Mm. Right. I've yeah, got do friendship. Mm. Uh, and and they keep too. they keep it just keeps piling on. Uh, when I was the the longest running friendship I have, I met when I was eleven. Yeah, I read about that. On His Facebook. name is Josh Ostertag. I don't know if he, he he does listen to these, and and he's he's fun to argue with. One of the reasons why he's one of my best friends. We we literally grew up together. He'd spend the night weeks at a time at my house. Um, we That's got awesome. into. I'm going to tell on him. We got so close. <laughs> we got so close that we got into a Joey and Chandler fight <laughs> over a loofah. <laughs> like who was using it? Yes. And I and I used the line, just think, the first thing you wash and the last thing I wash. <laughs> <laughs> and that led to him going home early because he was, he was pretty ticked off at me about being a jerk. And I was being a jerk, but he was using my loofah by God, and you don't use my loofah. You just don't do it. So, but anyways, that's Josh. And then I've I got one sitting right here with me. <laughs> this the guy Baldi. has known me since I was 13 years old. We've been competing against each other and singing mm-hmm. pretty much our whole stick in life. And yep. then we got together in the harvesters and traveled together. Yep. Then we ended up being roommates for, so I, man, I've just, and I've then, stacked them all my life. And I've got yeah. some really Joanna sitting here. She's known yeah. me for good night. 13 yeah. years. Oh, wow. Thir- 13 yeah. years, going on 14 years. Go mm-hmm. 13 years. Yep. yep. So I, I'm really thankful for yes. the relationships. Uh, Scotty, I've been I've been singing with Scotty for nine years now, close to nine years. Um, it's just unreal how blessed I am to have the incredible. And, and Todd, hmm? you know, he, he ran out and divorced me last year for a little bit, but he came back as soon as he possibly could. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. always come yeah. back to yeah. It wasn't a divorce. It was a separation. Oh, was it? It was yeah. a trial separation. A separation. They realize what a, they've lost. Yeah. Yes. They yeah. come crawling back. They come back. back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I did too, Tim. Remember, mm-hmm. you know, I came back. You lost your ever-loving mind. <laughs> I'm just saying. I want to hear that story later. <laughs> hey, no, that's that's between me and him. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh. that's between me and him. Maybe, maybe and I don't want to hear yeah. that story. There, there, there's some. Yeah, we, you know, we we all wait through stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Every one of us go through things, yeah. and mm-hmm. when you have long term relationships, they're just things that yeah we know about each other that will never surface. Conversations that we've had that will mm-hmm. never ever come to, to to because that's just specifically for friends yeah. you know yeah where it's the not, bodies are buried yeah, yeah well absolutely. exactly that's my problem yeah he, he knows all about that the little the little things of blood like dexter mm-hmm. you know in yeah. my in my mm-hmm. air conditioning mm-hmm. unit yeah but um you guys don't know anything about that and me and steve mm-hmm. yeah yeah there's plenty underneath the mm-hmm. foundation of wines right now yeah so jimmy hoffa's gone all right anyway so <laughs> friends 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 you get some great friends all right go ahead steve all right i'm thankful for the really horrible things I've been through that have um, brought me to where I am right now. Um, Actually, it was when I was going through my divorce that brought me back to my best friend, Tim, who helped me through this. And I was thankful for how God uh, used all that turmoil and pain to make me into the person I am today and make me a better, made me a better husband, made me a better, uh, better father. So I am thankful for that mess that I went through that made me mm. better on the other side. Amen. Amen. And sometimes we forget to be thankful for those things. Yeah. Mm. We, wouldn't be, we wouldn't be who we are if we didn't go through them. Yep. It's good, Steve. All right, Joe. Man, that was, that was really good. It's deep. I didn't have deep. it, so yeah. I still, I'm still yeah. intact on my yeah. last four. Yep. Yeah. Um, so uh, last weekend, I was on a road trip with a friend of mine, and we were driving from... Asheville to Charlotte in the Carolinas. North Carolina. Ooh, that's beautiful. And, uh, North Carolina. Right? And and that is what I'm thankful for is spring and fall. Because oh, there was gorgeous? one minute where, I mean, we were driving and you look out and you just see all the colors. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what, God? Good job. Yeah, I he, is, that that, he is an artist. That is one of the most on beautiful too. things I have ever seen. Just God's artistry mm-hmm. on this earth. It's amazing. I had to agree with that. I 100 percent agree with that. Yeah, I was in Colorado in in uh, in June with the youth, and we did the Garden mm-hmm. of the Gods. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. It's just, and you, you don't when you're in Colorado, it's like you're in one section and you're looking at this thing, and you're going, I can't believe, and then you turn around and it just got better. Mm-hmm. And it's just like all around you. So yeah, I'm, mm-hmm. he's an incredible. And then who was it? Was it Marilyn? Marilyn Vincent uh, posted a a mushroom 
on her Facebook page this last, and it was just cra- like was glowing cold. blue. And I'm oh, like, wow. God, only you could think of that stuff. And, and mm-hmm. the same God that creates that in the mountains is mm-hmm. the same God that created the spiders. Mm-hmm. I just don't understand. Lord, I'm confused. And we're going to have to have a talk. He has but a sense of humor. Yeah. I guess. Or it shows <laughs> that he's like, I'm just going to test the, the, the fear of, of Tim. And, and yeah, <laughs> he, he understands I need. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go those ahead, Todd. Blue, those blue mushrooms, are, they glow for a reason. You're not supposed to eat them. Well, we're not eating them, but we were admiring the fact mm-hmm. that God is incredible. Oh, and the Grand Canyon. You ever been in the Grand Canyon? Yes. Where's that? You went there with been there. Weren't you yeah. there with me? Whenever we went, we were in no, harvesters. I didn't go with you in harvesters. Oh, oh they, oh, they kicked me out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was a little rebellious. Anyway, so um, um, just a little. Yeah, mm, made a D in Pentecostal bit. doctrine that may or may not have been why I had to be released from the harvesters. Anyway, so um, we're going to talk about that. It's a painful memory. I'm thankful for the painful memories, Miss <laughs> <laughs> Robbins. If you're listening, I love Miss Robbins. <laughs> I do too. I'm very thankful for her. I am too. You got to cancel it off your list though now because we're both thankful for it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't oh, put yeah. her on here. <gasps> <laughs> then why are you saying it? You cheated. You cheated. Cheated. Cheater. I'm still thankful. Cheater. Steve? Anyways. All right, Todd, you're up, man. Well, kind of going along with uh, Joanna's here. I, mine, mine, I'm thankful for sunrises and sunsets. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, that was a lot of S's in my mm-hmm. microphone. It was nice, though. Yeah. I think that's the loudest you've ever gotten on this podcast. What? I, yeah. I, with the S's. What you, what, oh, with the S's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I think Because you you're usually like. It sounds like golfing. That's not true. And, like, That's and he's, true. he's I'm on just, the I'm like, 18th I'm just hole. He's way. about to putt. I'm thankful. <laughs> but well, I'm glad, Steve. <laughs> just, You're also incredibly random. Are you, are, you Steve? Random? <laughs> are, are you thankful that I was loud and that you could hear me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's like, he goes, just so you know. I'm thankful. Thankful. Steve? <laughs> That's crazy. That's almost what we're talking about today. That's, uh, That's insane. Wow. I'm, Who I know. Yeah. You know, I'm thankful. Funny. I'm I feel like I'm playing Battleship over here. Teacher? <laughs> Teacher? What? Teacher? I'm thankful. <laughs> <laughs> I am too, man. Nothing yes. Nothing mm-hmm. is as beautiful. Yes, I, I, I love now, the sun. So I don't like to fish. I don't, mm-hmm. to fish. I don't like to fish. But why? one of the most glorious moments that, of my life has been I was on a cruise ship. And I remember getting up early enough to where and seeing it peer over the, mm. the ocean. Yes. And all of the, you know. So gorgeous. Oh, my gosh, man. Mm-hmm. You don't know. Well, once it comes over the crest of the, the, the earth because it's round, it's like. It's round? It's, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. Steve? Whose phone's going on? <sighs> That's another podcast. All right. <laughs> I don't have sunrises and sunsets, thank God. And I definitely don't have flat earth on there either. I, so, um, I love, that's when uh, Laura likes to take her pictures around, around uh, the flat earth. Mm-hmm. No, oh, okay. <laughs> around sunset. Steve? That's when she usually mm-hmm. sets them up, whatever, usually within an hour before the sun sets mm-hmm. is usually when she likes mm-hmm. to do her pictures. All right. They come out the most beautiful. I'm thankful for music. Oh, music. yes. Mm. Why did I not put that I on didn't there? I have that one. <gasps> yeah. Shame I'm, um, on me. I am a, uh, my life would not be my life without the gift of music. Mm-hmm. And I, I am yeah. so, so thankful that every day of my life I get to experience music in one way. I, I'm one of those, I'm one of those creepy guys that will be sitting there listening to a song at a red light and start crying because of how beautiful it is. Just something hits me and I'll start and somebody mm-hmm. will be looking at me, staring at me like, you know, that dude's going through divorce or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's having a rough day. Oh, rough day. Yeah. 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 Man, he's yeah. had a rough time. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm sitting there just rude because it's though. so dumb, yeah. man. I'm telling you, man, they, they have power. They do. Mm-hmm. They do. And, and sometimes it doesn't require any words. Like there, there are, there are songs out there, man. Yes. It doesn't, it's just amazing. Yeah, the melodies and the connection that mm-hmm. we get over those things. So yeah, mm-hmm. I, I'm really thankful for music. Yes. All right, dude, what's up? Me? This is the bald beauty now. This is a right. Steve. I'm just. Gonna, I'm thankful. I'm just gonna put it out there. Come I'm on, man. Thankful that the Lord created wonderful intimacy and sex. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Intimacy <laughs> and what? <laughs> <laughs> Your mother's for listening. <laughs> Do you eat with that mouse? He was trying so Whoa, hard to, eat that. <laughs> to enjoy with our with our uh, mate, with our wife, with your, wife your, your 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 mate. 
Your wife. Yeah, please, please specify. Yeah. Yeah. In this day and age, you definitely need to specify what my you're wife. having s*** with. <laughs> my wife. We don't believe in this s- word. Oh He's said, word. He said, hey, I'm not the only one who enjoys it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Quit using That's that word, dude. Word. Yeah. I didn't use <laughs> oh, Lord we so need a camera in here. <laughs> I can't. I'm gone. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> for what? At this time, what will beep you? What did you say? Thank the Lord for intimacy and sex. 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 I'm just waiting on you to bleep it. And listen. Everybody has to say a big whole hearty amen on that one. Right? Amen. Amen. Because without it, we would not be here. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. And for those of you religious nuts that are listening to this saying, well, you are just promoting sex. That's absolutely right. Yeah, we are. <laughs> That's right. I am. You are correct. I, in the right I want you to call me and have a, I want you to call me and have a religious conversation with me about sex. Okay. Yes. And if you don't like what we're talking about now, just wait till next season when we get into it, because I'm telling you, it's going to, we're going to talk about it. I'm so, I'm so so thankful for a podcast opportunity that we can actually have real conversation about real topics and not have to worry about the religious right that is going to sit there and tell us Mm -hmm. that we're wrong about talking about these things. Mm -hmm. We need that kind of freedom in this place. Anyways, I'm done. Was that that one of your thankfuls? Uh Uh-uh. Because you're out of turn. No, Mm -hmm. it's not one of my thankfuls. I'm just out of turn. No, I'm just saying, I'm I'm glad for sex too. I'm glad for the ability to communicate about sex. Yeah. My gosh. I think the Lord did a good job on that one. On what? Yep. Creating <laughs> he just had to. He just had to. Steve? All right, so go ahead, Joetta. Um, okay, I'm gonna skip down a couple and go. No, it's gonna, not fair. Well, I'm gonna Cheater. bounce on yours. I'm okay. gonna bounce off of yours. Okay. Because you said music, and I'm gonna go a little bit different and just say creativity in uh, general. Okay. Okay. Yeah, creativity. because you're an author. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever yeah. the weirdness is in my brain that causes me to come up with all of this stuff, I'm very thankful for that. And she is incredibly talented. Yes. She oh, is. Oh, y'all are sweet. She is. Go buy her books. What are yes. your books? Uh, I have. What are uh, they? He's, been, he's doing a plug. Shh. Yes. You have a book? It. She has yes. lots of them. Lots of them. I have 12 books. Where do, you, where do you think she, how do you think she affords her outfits, man? <laughs> yeah. Those earrings don't come <laughs> wow. My husband works. That's how I afford them. Everybody knows, everybody knows artists are broke. That is the perfect name hey, for that's an not author. True. Joanna that's not true. Grace. Joanna Grace. That's right. Mm-hmm. Go look it up. Joanna Grace. She's one of the top authors on Amazon. She's amazing. Oh, I wish. That'd she's amazing. From your wow. mouth to God's ears. Well, I'm just saying. She is. She. If she's wow. not, she should be. <laughs> she's amazing. Well, I have to get on there and get a review. I do have a bone to pick with her, though. Uh-oh. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, okay. Yeah. You read yeah. the end of the book. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm I'm not going to talk about it here. I'm just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. call him Mother in your books? I, no, I, the problem is I haven't Steve? put him in a book yet. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Yeah, known me for 13 years and yeah. everybody else in there. Or you're just not going to just looking. plug it. I, I will say the even bulk... Steve? Even Steve is in there the, somewhere. The bulk of I my books not in there. <laughs> are about Greek gods. So it's not like I can really base that on a lot of people I yeah. know. Well, <laughs> Thor? Now I'm offended. The, <laughs> though my husband does make it clear there are certain things in my books that are definitely based on him. Yeah, so I don't want to know. Thinks. I don't want to know. Okay. Let's just... Let's go on, please. There's just some things I don't need to know. Yeah, (laughs) Donnie, I love you, but I don't want to hear about anything. (laughs) All right, go ahead, Todd. All right, so I'm thankful that dreams can be lived out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, dude. Now, what specifically are you talking about, Todd? Well, I'm talking about the farm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Serenity Farm. Yeah. 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 Mm Mm-hmm. But yeah. you, C3 Serenity Farm. Sorry. C3 Serenity Farm. C3 Serenity Farm. Yeah, sounds like an insurance yeah, I think commercial. That's, yeah, yeah, that it does. sounds more like C3. an insurance commercial. Yeah. I, I don't give a rat's behind. You guys aren't free. <laughs> you know, the cool thing about Serenity it is farm. we can protect you. Oh, we can help you with your, <laughs> with your farming, needs. farming needs. Steve? Come. Steve, Steve. Serenity Farm. <laughs> Steve insurance. It's so Steve? Down <laughs> All right. So yes, dreams yes. do come true. And your dream started with just a desire to farm. Yes. 
And then God Simple. had incredible plans, man. He did. And That's right. He did. That's awesome. See, I don't think they know that story. I don't know. We, I think we have we have a little bit of time. Go ahead and yeah. tell the story, dude. About how? how yeah. Well, I, you, well, it started with kind of a, a rocky road, didn't it? It did. Yeah. It did. I like rocky road. I mean, it started with just. <laughs> you, do you? So rocky boring. road. I'm random man. <laughs> is it the peanuts or is it the marshmallows that you like best? The marshmallows. No, I, I think it's the nuts is what I think it is. It's absolutely Speaking nuts. Speaking of nuts. <laughs> nuts. Teacher, teacher, <laughs> teacher. Hold on, hold on, teacher. I like Rocky Road. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm thankful. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Steve. I, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I don't even know how to lead in on that. You know? I'm kind of at loss of words here well, for a second. Let, you must unlearn what you, what you have learned. learned. Just, just, you know, we, we left off at Rocky Road. It's a, he's the, yeah. it's Somewhere in that net web thing in his brain, he connected ice cream <laughs> with, with dreams with, coming true. Well, yeah, and... and, and and actually, potholes and, yeah, and yeah, yeah. rocks and yeah. sticks. So, in the uh, so what's the story, dude? Like, wh- how did your dream? How did it? How did you start living it out, man? With you? Well, n- not me. I'm just talking about like Aww. with your your sweet. It's the Lord that did it. But we're talking yes. about you. You you had a you had a walk there. There was yeah. I, I I really wanted to get into farming, and it just seemed like every time I'd get there, there was kind of a roadblock. But then me and my wife talked and. We found some opportunities and led us down some paths that weren't quite what we thought it would be. Weren't fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they went kind of sideways. So leaving that opportunity and and moving on to what I felt like the Lord was kind of pushing us to was a great deal. Mm -hmm. Then everything started falling into place because I'd ask for provisions and behold, the Lord would give. Praise the Lord. Mm, He's Mm -hmm. good. Yeah. And then... You know, I mean, our original plan was to move to Arkansas and start a farm. And and I was like, man, because I can't find land here in Texas that's cheap enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, no. Yeah, never tell God you can't. Mm-mm. Right. Because then he goes, <laughs> <laughs> you're full of crap. Yeah. You can't, but I can. I can, yes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, 11.121 acres of property just yeah, revealed itself. It's amazing. With enough support to last a lifetime. Amen. <laughs> and now we have C3 Serenity Farms. Okay, wow, you guys I, sound pretty good. Well, we, not, we've worked hard on that. Um, yeah. Not it sound like it. Steve didn't work hard enough. I that, but I figured I'd torture it. That, it. Steve did enough job on that. All right. So um, oh, I found it. it. You, you found you found some <laughs> harmony part. What you what'd you find? Ma- the wrong part. It was the oh, it was the Mars I you were part. Find that you're the yeah. thankful again. We can try it again sometime later. Yeah, we'll have to work on that. Yeah, we'll work on that. Yeah, we'll get it. Y'all work on that separately. Yeah. Well, Steve is away. Steve is an incredible singer. You know, he's just he an amazing yeah, singer. He is. I am. And oh good gosh, at the guitar, he's like, dude, I want I him to sing with you. I am. I am yeah. not. Hold on, teacher, teacher, teacher. I can sing. Are you sure? Oh boy! All right, so here's number. I don't even know Have what this is. Oh, you do? No. Okay. All right, <laughs> teacher. All right, so I, I've said this, but I'm going to say it again. I'm thankful for Cracker Barrel. Oh wow! Yeah, oh. I like Cracker Barrel. Okay. Too. I, I'm yeah. the reason why. And if it was just the restaurant, it'd be different. But it's like a family, man. You walk in and they all know your name. That's cool. It's like Cheers. Yeah. Wow. Cheers. Nice. Yeah, like you know Jackie's. You know. Ted Danson, you know the guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I remember right. Cheers? Yeah, yeah. And, and, I remember Cheers. That's a funny show. And Norm Steve is awesome. Woody, you know that kind of thing. So, Woody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woody yeah. Um, I don't know who John favorites. Rassenberger is, the Norm or or the postal guy. Mm. I, don't, I don't know anything. Yeah. Else, but yeah. I will say that it's nice to be able to go there and have breakfast with your friends and yeah. have conversations with people there. It's also one of the greatest places in the world to meet people because some of the some of the coolest people and they're coming from. I've, I've met people from California there. Yeah, just which, passing through. Yeah, just well, I don't know if they're passing through or moving. I've seen I, there are there is a lot of people that are moving in from mm. California. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as they keep their politics over there, it's fine. Yeah. All right. mm-hmm. So I'm I'm thankful for Cracker Barrel. I'm, I'm also thankful for um, some of the restaurants uh, that are around that are very community driven, um, mm-hmm. like Chick Fil A. Uh, some of these other other uh, TXM is mm-hmm. another one that's just 
I remember when we had the uh, the COVID thing happen. I hate that. I hate that stupid virus. But mm-hmm. uh, we all but, do. But when that first happened, and they were giving out meals mm-hmm. at, oh, yeah. at TXM, that's, right. that's I mean, awesome. Bill Andreessen yeah. is probably one of the greatest um, owners and operators in East Texas. And and I'm not saying that simply because I get to play there every week. I'm saying that because every time that there is a a challenging thing that happens in our community that guy rises to meet the occasion that's and, awesome and he's a he's a really great guy uh, wow uh, just a really great guy genuinely great guy got a great family and mm-hmm. really really loves god so i i'm just bragging on these that's awesome but cracker barrel i say cracker barrel because i love their breakfast i love their cinnamon roll pie even though they're out of it right now what um Aww. i know that i've been be out of cinnamon pie. to cinnamon roll pie cinnamon roll oh pie. i've my. never had that Oh my stinking goodness! Y'all are making me hungry. Stop! It's like it's like that one <laughs> that you were thankful for I'm trying to in get food rolls, form, though, so. intimacy and sex in food form. I'm just saying okay. that's just the way it is. All right, All right. Steve, I, we're down to our last stuff, man. So give me give me what you got, bro. Um, let's see here, we're down to our last stuff. What are you yep. talking? About? I got five more. Well, we're gonna have to. We're gonna do two more, maybe. Oh, okay. oh All right. okay. I am thankful that um, I get to. Um, go out with my wife at least once a week. You're thankful for dates. Dates, yeah. Date night. Date night. Date night. Mm, date like night. last night. Date night. You got mm-hmm. to hang out. With hang your out friends. with friends and mm-hmm. listen to some good. Some you had some really quality friends with you last night, man. I had some yeah. awesome Pam friends. And Henry. Yeah, was it Henry? Pam and Henry. Yeah. yeah. Henry is cool. a is a trainer. Yes, he's my personal trainer. Yep. This is the reason why every shirt that Steve wears at this point looks like his arms are going to like No, shred. they don't. Hulk out, man. <laughs> That's why we call him the bald beauty. No. That's right. Paint him green and call him Banner. No, I'm not Watch that him big. rage. Watch him rage. <laughs> Just no. Well, you almost got that in two weeks ago. Hmm? He got pretty angry. You wouldn't like him when he was angry. Did you hear that? Yeah. He was like passionate like he I was passionate but i was about to throw angry. his chair like a are wwe you to star mm. you're trying to start it up again yeah i am yeah i'm trying to stir in the pot yeah stir in the pot steve i'm just saying all right I, I, i've never seen steve like that before Man. That is t- his his top yeah. lip was real real stiff and no, it wasn't <laughs> started talking like russian you do russian so much better he's, he's talking like russian all right go ahead joanna you're next health Oh, yeah. I had that on there. I'm very yeah. thankful for health. Yeah. I, I and had, a God who had heals. it in here. But I didn't put it here, though. Amen. Especially if you fall into a log. Health. Well, mm. <laughs> we may or may not have pictures that we need to post about that. That's mm, pretty cool. So yeah. much. Yeah. And lessons that we learn with those are that that goes back yeah. to a steve thing yeah. yes yes i don't care how loud the music is make sure you have a flashlight when you go outside that's right don't run in the dark <laughs> don't run in especially the dark, when don't. you just cut down trees yeah. <laughs> 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 that's like not that good. Ties, yeah, that ties into your thankful for the bad things that have happened that's in the what, lessons wow. learned. You may or may not <laughs> you, you may or may not have heard a couple of uh-huh. that uh-huh. night when he yeah mm-hmm. for that, sure. That's why he went to that car bleeding like he did. He's like, well, what are you doing in our what are you doing? What are you doing in our parking lot? I did saw you, you over there. Did you figure out who it was? Oh yeah, bless her heart. She was scared to death. He was bleeding out. He's like, <gasps> what are you doing in our parking lot? I knocked, knocked on, on her window. <laughs> I knocked on her window and she rolls in her window. I'm like. I saw you over there. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've got to understand, like, the blood's running down oh his face. Gosh. Oh, my goodness. Like, Ow. What are you doing in our parking lot? That poor lot? girl probably needs therapy. <laughs> probably. Poor girl. <laughs> I haven't seen She'll never be back to CrossFit. Yeah, so um, did you invite her to CrossFit? We are sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Church is like Church is at 1030 Church. <laughs> on Sundays. Can you see anything in the chamber of my gun while I'm pointing it at you? <laughs> <laughs> did you see that bullet? <laughs> All right. Mm. I'm, I'm thankful for... My family heritage, my my grandfather being in ministry for 33 and a half years, mm. yeah. longer than that, really. He says that he was pastoring for 33 and a half years. He had a whole lot more time in the ministry. but um, uh, And I'm thankful for, it's not very many families that can say that down to their great, 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 great grandparents, they don't have any divorces. And my, like. Oh, wow. That's like, pretty amazing. So my parents have lasted for years and years, uh, 45 wow. coming up pretty quick. Um, my grandparents is at 60 
Um, my, my grandparents for them were right at 75 when grandpa wow. passed away. Mm. So I'm, that's my dad's side. My grandmother's still alive. Um, and she's not good night. Don't, don't get me to lie in 95, 96. Wow. Oof. Yeah. Um, and she just beat pneumonia. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just saying, I'm really Rockstar. glad for the, the heritage that I've got with my godly, my godly family and, and the way that they have wow. tough things throughout. All right, Steve, last round. Go ahead. Last round. I am thankful for my guitar. You know, I like my guitar. Well, hold on, wasn't that music? Isn't that music? No. Okay. No, that's different. This is that different? Yeah, that's is different. my Taylor guitar that my wife got me for our anniversary and Christmas and my birthday. Um, for the next five years. <laughs> wow, that thing is expensive. <laughs> I know how that kind of thing works. Thank it you, Joe really Biden. Really cool, because like <laughs> I had, you know. I don't, I've mentioned several times that I would like to have a new guitar. I was, and we, I just wanted to go to the store and check out what they had. And I was looking at a guitar and it was nice. It was, it was a Taylor. It sounded good. But then she's like, look at that one. What do you think about that one? It's got all that bling on it. I'm like, well, that one's a lot more expensive. So I got that one out and I play. Oh yeah. It sounds amazing. She goes, you want it? I said, yeah. Okay. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> So I have my dream. That goes back to thankful for your. Wife. I have dream guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. By the way, Lorraine, I'm looking at his list. That guitar was way above the sex. So not, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, sex was at the bottom. <laughs> the that guitar was at the true. top. That was that, the second one just down. Saying. That's Steve? not true. Yeah. yeah that yeah. is so mm -hmm. not true. Yeah. No. Wow. No. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. No. I should have wrote them out so we could. All see right, them. Joe. You're I think up. I got the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> you like Rocky Road? Because she, yes, I like Rocky Road. Because he bought Lorraine a magnifying glass. That's why. Uh, uh, <laughs> honey, right there. Right there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, Steve? Man. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. That was bad. I'm sorry. I'm going to boo myself that on that one. That was bad. Some, some old ladies listening to this podcast, she just went... <laughs> Oh my gosh! I can't believe they just said that. Oh my this goodness. is the PT podcast, folks. Yes. This oh is not. Goodness. This no, is sure. not appropriate podcast. This isn't mm. the religious podcast. This is mm -hmm. the PT podcast. You don't have to listen if you don't want to. We're not tracking numbers, but we know where you live. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Join I feel so much pressure. I have like three things left, and I don't know which one. I know. I'm more thankful for than the others. Okay, that does not I'm help. Gonna, I am going, I'm going to go with laughter. I am thankful oh, yeah. for laughter. Yes, as that is a good this one. podcast like that one. has clearly <laughs> demonstrated, I'm very thankful for a sense of humor. Yes. That's why you like hanging out with us. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Because we're. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, maybe not. We that so we're, so easy. <laughs> we're so easy to laugh at, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Somebody take away his buttons. <laughs> right? All right. Uh -huh. I'm surprised I'm you I'm thankful for buttons. Oh, right? Buttons, yeah. yeah. Well, I have that's, that on the that's list. That's his last one. That's his last one. No, no, no. It's still not as important as my next one, but <laughs> okay. All right. I am pretty oh. thankful for buttons. I, I have to yeah. say, yeah. I, I come from a long line of button pushers. <laughs> 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 all right. All right. So laughter yeah. is is absolutely one of the one, mm -hmm. most wonderful things in life. I love I laughter. Mm -hmm. yep. I, I try to dedicate mm -hmm. the Facebook page to making people at least smile. Oh, you make me laugh and smile all oh, the time. Oh, with your little... Yeah. Thing. I know they're stupid. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I, I love no, them. No, they're funny. I love them. I feel like... Though when I meet people, in, when I meet people in person, they're a little disappointed. No. Why? Because I'm not as witty, and I, I'll post the best that I got, you know, and I'll I'll reheat some that I've done over the years. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm like, well, not every day am I feeling funny. Could be, yeah, mm -hmm. and I don't feel like putting something funny out there, you know. Right. Sometimes I'm snarky and I want to be sarcastic. By God, so, but I, the other night I was at a at a gig. And I think they were just sitting, they, like, they, they knew who I was because of my Facebook posts or something mm -hmm. like that. And they walk up, they're like, oh, yeah, I follow you on Facebook. And I'm like, oh, that's great. Thank you so much. And they, it's like they were waiting for me mm -hmm. to come up with a To say, line. no, to, to be like, you know, one of the one-liners that I've got on there, you mm -hmm. know. And they, they go, oh, you know, but I, was, I didn't say anything. And I think they walked away 
slightly, and I think it affected our tips that night. I just really do. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little offended by this. I can't believe I wasn't offended. Something. I didn't get offended. Chuck Norris thing out there. Hmm. <laughs> no, you know, I've, I've slowed down on the Chuck you Norris have. stuff. Yeah, you have. I've noticed yep. that. You know why? Well, because the dude's like eighty something years old. Yeah, he is getting older. Uh, and and he's I just. Bad. I, well, I yeah, still like yeah, the he's Chuck a, Norris, though. He's a bad mamma jamma. He yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, but I, I just, I think he's deserved his. I, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't play when it comes to Chuck Norris, man. I'm just, saying, mm-hmm. I would like to get him on the podcast one time. <laughs> oh wow, you want me to call him? That'd yeah, be awesome. If you can, yeah, yeah call him up. Him to be honest with you, he's already on the podcast. Is he? We just don't know it. Oh good. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. mm. yeah. The second that you don't think that Chuck Norris is watching you is the second you better watch out because death is <laughs> true. Oh, yeah, right. that's right. Oh my gosh. Good. All right, so all right, go ahead, Todd. Your turn. All right, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go since we're running out of time. I'm gonna go with. I'm we thankful. have time. We have a time. Table? I'm thankful for batteries, so we don't run out of time. Oh, batteries. Oh. Wait, is that really you, on your list? Is, do you really batteries? have that on there? I'm thankful for batteries. Yeah, because it's really bad when they're not included. Hey, you know what? Let's <laughs> let's so take your true. phone. Let's take your phone and decharge that phone. Oh yeah, you'd be crying hey, then, buddy. You know what? No, you do have a good point because yes. have you ever got your kids a toy at Christmas oh, and Lord. they are so ready to play with it and but it you says don't have no batteries. batteries not you included. You got no batteries. Oh my. Uh huh. You're in trouble. You'd be crying. There is nothing that'll Santa make a kid didn't bring more the batteries. disappointed. Sorry, kids. Mm. And like we have to wait mm-hmm. till tomorrow because the stores aren't open. Uh-huh. Well, you have and to find a Walgreens. Those are the only ones that I think they're open. Listen, if you get a toy Ooh. for yeah. your kid uh-huh. and you didn't get the batteries required to operate it, uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't care enough about your kid to get the well, batteries. Hey, I'm just saying. Hey, I'm judging you right they, now. They weren't well, you can judge it me. Can me it. We had that Christmas. It, it was happen. awful. We oh, didn't you, have you working just... remotes in our house for like oh. two days. Oh no! Because <laughs> when he robbed all the <laughs> rob everything, yeah. all the batteries, also out of the, the remotes. remotes don't work. And yeah. 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 I'm just telling you, man, the day that that happens in my house, it's to start taking things out of my remote controls. I I buy. Oh no, I did it. Like I took the batteries out of the remote control. Oh. To put in the toy. My kids. That's gross. I'm, like, worse. I'm like, right no, I'm like, we can't do a... this. And Donnie's like, no, fix it. Fix it. Here, here, fix it. Oh, so he's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He's, he was right there with me. Oh, I understand. Wow. See? He was like, That's we because we're kind tomorrow. of excited. You know, when we give in the, yeah. I know the kids are like, we got a yes. toy. We want to play with it. Sometimes we get a toy that we want to play with. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have any batteries. I can't right? play with it. Right? Right? Exactly. I'm, I'm totally with you. talking about. Yeah. See, that's not so lame. It isn't lame. I'm just, I had to give you a hard time. That was a good one. That was yeah, a good that's one. very good. Batteries. But I'm, uh, take a look at your phone. How many times did your phone go dead? And you kind of go, uh. Mm. Dude, I could live with my phone on a charger. I, I mean, I literally, I don't have it off the, the, the charger very often. Right now you do. I know. I know I do. And to your so, point, I like batteries. You're right. But I, so I'm just saying. I'll just put an uh, exclamation point. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. Batteries. Good job, Todd. You, you Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I all think about it. It wasn't a movie for no reason, you know. Huh? Oh. Batteries not included. It's a movie. That's a good Steve? movie. Steve? Teacher, teacher, teacher. I watch batteries not included. <laughs> <laughs> I'm random, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want that button by the next podcast. Random man. Random man. I can't do that. That's actually trademarked by Kid Craddock in the morning. He, oh, he, man. he said that all the time. Oh. Really? Yes, dude. That guy. That's funny. That is something that I miss is Kid Craddock. <laughs> he, was, uh, he was one of a kind. All right. My last one, and this is it. I am thankful for my mind, for the ability to reason, to think, to be able to make choices. I'm thankful that God has given me the ability to be able to think. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Because yeah. a lot of people don't have that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're, and they're named they're, Democrats. Not blamed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh I mean, wow, I wasn't gonna go there, but you kind of read my mind. <laughs> it is politics, November. Sorry, um, no, my. I, I I meant not Democrats. I meant politicians that in general, because it's, it's obvious that none of us are thinking. <laughs> in Washington, none of them are thinking. No. Yeah, there's not very many of them. No, there's no. not. No. It, it is a stinking mess, but I am very thankful for my country. Yes, yes. very thankful. And very thankful that Absolutely. we live in a nation that yes. is is still mm-hmm. somewhat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to, yeah. we'll just leave it at that. Yes. yes. Anyways, all right, well, this song, uh, the, the song of the week, and I'm I'm so, so thrilled that I get to use it. Okay. Uh, back in 2000, 2003, I think uh, we had a band called Lip to Coal, L-I-P-T-O-C-O-A-L, Lip to Coal. 
and it was an Isaiah thing where he touched the cold of my lips and cleaned mm. it. So he, it, yeah, it's a little, little, little cool thing. Mm. Uh, and the Feasel brothers, John and Gene, uh, they started this band called Liptical, and we saw them at a youth conference deal or youth rally deal, and we had him out at Ellisville First Assembly and had a big youth rally conference thing. And he came in and, and they, they just rocked it. They were an incredible band. It was, I don't even think they're together anymore. I know that they are pastors in their own right. They're out pastoring and they're, they're old like I am now. So um, no offense, Gene. I, I know you would take offense to that. Old is as old does, but they are old men like I am, got kids and and uh, uh, probably don't rock out as hard as they did back then. But this is Elliptical and the, the, the song of the week is called Thank You. I hope you guys enjoy this. This oh, is one of my favorite songs, man. It's pretty cool. Nope, you can't listen. gospel to you than that which we have preached to you. Let him be accursed. Did you hear that? Paul says, listen, there are people who want to distort the gospel, but I want you to understand this, that if we, that if, if I, Paul the apostle, or an angel from heaven, 
comes down here and teaches you any other gospel than the one which you have received. Let him be damned. Let him be on a tema. Paul is calling for the curse of God upon anyone who preaches any other gospel. And Paul is no respecter of persons here. He said, I don't care who it is. If they have the audacity to preach a different gospel, let them be cursed. Where's the tolerance here? I love that band. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's cool. <laughs> Liptical, uh, thank you. You can check it out. I think it's on uh, iTunes. I think it's on Spotify. If it's not, then uh, if you want to hear it, uh, make sure uh, friend Gene Fiesel or John Fiesel, tell them where you heard it, and I'm sure they would love to get you a copy of that. It's a great, great album called Fly. And uh, it's, uh, I, it's, I don't think they do elliptical anymore but it's a great 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 album all right uh let me say the reason why we do these things uh obviously is to get you to be thinking about the things that you're thankful for we all have things that we're thankful for yes um every day of our lives and um it, it's easy if you just take a second instead of focusing on things that you're upset about and that's yes. what our culture does yes mm -hmm. they like to nitpick the things but philippians 4 says find things of value whatsoever things are and gives you a mm -hmm. whole long list of yes. things think on those things and yeah I, and i don't think it's a combination i think it's any of those things mm -hmm. if you can mm -hmm. find that in the world i want you to put your mind to those things yes um and i think here is a good lesson for us that if we can you notice how much fun it is to be thankful yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and and yeah. how how much levity it brings to even though there are still gripes even though there are still things that we recognize as wrong in yeah. the world we don't we don't sit there and and you know say that these things aren't wrong but it doesn't cancel out the things that we're thankful for yeah and i think that's the reason why we're doing the things we're doing today i'm really i'm thankful for you guys i hope you know how yes. much i love you and yes. appreciate right you guys you. thankful for you and yeah, uh I, was gonna say, I think we're very thankful that you brought us on the podcast i'm, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm stoked yeah, so I'm, i've been meaning to talk to y'all about the future though i, I don't think i'm gonna keep i'm kidding i'm, <laughs> kidding. I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, and let me tell you guys at home that are listening every week uh thank you so much for listening and letting us know that i mean i get get comments from you guys about you know, things that we want to be talking about next uh season wow um and uh, how much it's affecting i had had a lot of people who were listening to the live feed when we did the live feed on october 31st or the the halloween one that we did yes and uh they were they loved it i mean, even though it, it went off the air uh, and mm, we don't, we haven't had the ability to put that on there. I apologize. We'll do another live yes, later on sometime, fun. but I, I just want to tell you, we're thankful for the opportunity yes. to be able to, to come to you every week and, and talk to you about this stuff. I say almost every week because sometimes we take a break. Uh, we also, I, I thank Crossroads Community Church for allowing us to express sometimes not, <laughs> not very popular opinions, um, and, and definitely not, um, churchy opinions, um, I want to make sure that we're getting beyond pat answers and getting to answers that are real. I think church has gotten really good at surface, mm -hmm. but I'm really thankful for the opportunity to be here and talking about issues that real people are asking about. And although we haven't hit everything that you guys may think need to be hit, I know some of you are really wanting us to hit COVID. I know some of you are really wanting us to hit vaccinations. I know mm. some of you are wanting us to hit some of the um, harder things out there. I, I hear you. I understand that. Um, and I would I would venture to say that you, you need to understand that these answers that we're giving, um, they talk about vaccinations and COVID and masks and politics and things like that. And every answer that we come down to every time we get to it is love. Mm -hmm. um, and I think loving God first and foremost yes. is the, the chief thing. If we preach to you another gospel than that which Christ has preached, then you're going to get the decision wrong. Um, mm -hmm. And I and I just think that, sure. and I think all four of us here have commonality of view on those topics that I'm talking about. And that's because mm -hmm. I believe that all four of us have a genuine affection and trust for the Lord. Yes. And I'm yeah. going to, I'm not going to tell you what that position is because I believe Holy Spirit will, will guide you into mm -hmm. all truth and lead you in all truth. I trust him more than I trust any one of us. Yes. I, yes. I will tell you that if you ask me on the street what my belief is, I'll tell you. But I'm, I will also say that I believe that your stance is your stance. Uh, and as long as it's biblical and it's under the pretense of love for the Lord, I'm not going to argue with you. But I, I will also tell you that um, 
uh, you, you need to genuinely look at the mirror and make sure that you're dealing with the things that the Lord's asking you to deal with and presenting your life yeah. to the Lord in love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think once you do that, all of this other stuff will work itself out. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so that's why we haven't tackled the vaccinations or, mm-hmm. uh, we, we might've addressed political topics and Steve yeah. might've wanted to kill me. Um, that's but not true. <laughs> you guys can listen to it yourself. You heard the gun cock Steve. And so, um, no. anyway, so, uh, this, this next couple, um, I, next week is supposed to be, uh, we're going to be talking about debt and does it belong in a Christian's life? And uh, my, my father, who is a doctorate of finance and accounting, um, he's done quanti- quantitative research analysis as, a, as his dissertation quite a long time ago. is multi-published mm. everywhere. And uh, one of his hot topics is debt. And he has a different view about some stuff. And it may not agree with your view, but I think it'll mm. be really good for all yeah. of us to be a part of that conversation yeah. and kind of learn some stuff. It may not be the kind of podcast that you're used to listening to, especially after this one, uh, as much <laughs> laughing as we have. And it may be, uh, you know, where, but I, I guarantee you, if you ask the right questions, um, you're going to get some answers that you didn't have mm-hmm. before. So uh, we're, that's that's supposed to be next week. Um, and as long as everything happens according to plan, that, that will still happen. That's Black Friday. I know some of you will, will have a hard time getting there or listening in. Uh, but uh, that's supposed to be here that, that Friday. Also, um, the next week after that is going to be the Mobile Santa podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, Santa Claus is, and Mrs. Claus, my, my mother and father, mm-hmm. again, will be in the studio. But they have been on it just like joanna has been on it ever since Mm -hmm. um you know its inception so they'll be talking about the mobile santa memories and that'll be uh the week before we actually hit mobile santa and then we're going to deal with some stuff holidays wise um satan or santa claus we're going to talk about the paganality of Mm -hmm. of santa wow and some people have hot button Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. things about that and then we're going to talk about grief during the holidays And uh, I know there is one person in particular that is really looking, probably the, one of the biggest reasons why uh, we're going to be doing this podcast is because they're, they're going through it right now. And I, if there's one that is attached, I'm, I can't even imagine how many other people need to hear um, about hope. Yes. And, mm-hmm. uh, and during the holidays. Yeah. And then we're going to be talking about <laughs> Christmas memories. And then we're going to be talking about Steve's favorite, which is should so- Christians... No, that is that's one of his favorite. Not it's, not his favorite. favorite. it's not it's his favorite. It's not his favorite. It's not his. Yeah, it's on his <laughs> list, but it's not as 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 favorite of his as his guitar. Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, Steve. I see so, it. I can see yeah. the list from here. But but the last that is not the true. last podcast of the year will happen on December thirty first, and God. it will be should Christians drink alcohol? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about that, that and gonna that's gonna be. Road. Road. <laughs> hey, teacher, 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 teacher. I like Rocky Road. All right, so um, <laughs> you don't want to miss it. Uh, and if you have an idea for a podcast you'd like to hear, please email me at tim at timletch dot com. That's tim at t i m l e t s c h dot com. Let me know what you'd like to hear us talk about. It's been a great conversation. I'm very thankful for all of you. Yes. Um, and mm-hmm. and you know, join us next week if you can. But if you can't, until we talk to you again. This is Todd Bergen. Steve Howard. Joanna Grace. And this is PT signing off. If no one has told you, God loves you and so do I. So do these guys. We're thankful for you. We'll catch you here next week. Bye. Bye. God bless you.